at that treasure hunt and welcome back to the channel today we are on day 10 and yes i missed a day but we're catching up so we are still in 100 days of favor by joseph prince and this is day 10. god is not present to find fault with you how many of us believe that we've been taught wrong all these years Today's scripture, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 6. Something very unique and precious happens when you see that the Lord is with you. Trust the Lord to open your eyes to see him in your situation, and the more you see him, the more he manifests himself. If you're in the mindset of committing to an impart if you are in the mindset of committing to an important business agreement, I assure you that if you see the Lord there with you, his wisdom will flow through you, and he will give you supernatural insight to locate any loopholes, details, or exit clauses that are missing from the contract that you're about to sign. Once you involve Jesus and acknowledge his presence, you will sense him intervene, intervening in any decision that you're about to make through the absence or presence of his peace. Through the absence or presence of his peace. Sometimes everything can appear to be in order on the surface, but somehow you may sense a discomfort rising up every time you think about your decision. My advice to you would be not to be to rush into it. You see, once you have involved the Lord, the lack of peace that you feel is often His leading to protect you. You can even be in the midst of an argument with your spouse, but the moment you become conscious of the Lord's presence, your words will change. Somehow, there will be supernatural restraint that you know is not from yourself. That is also the Lord. Love is important for you to eradicate the notion that the Lord is present to find fault with you. You may have been raised in an environment where your parents were constantly picking on your faults and pointing out your mistakes, but don't project that characteristic onto the Lord. God knows every inadequacy about you, yet he loves you perfectly because he sees you through the lens of the cross. For his son has removed every failing from your life. This means that even your current argument with your spouse is washed by the blood of Jesus. The Lord's presence is with you not to judge you or smack you on your head with a giant bat that moment you fail. No, my friend, his presence is with you to direct you, guide you, lead you into becoming more like Christ, and to make you a success in every endeavor undertake the Lord's Prayer Lord Jesus I am so glad that you know I am so glad to know that you are with me not to find fault with me but to encourage me guide me and help me experience good success help me to always involve you and acknowledge your presence in whatever decision I am making today I look forward to seeing your presence manifest as supernatural wisdom and discernment in me to do what is right and full of life. Today's thought. God knows all my endocrinicities <laughs> and weaknesses. Yet he doesn't condemn me, but loves me perfectly because of Jesus. So, you know, we've been taught so much, you know, we see God as a fierce and, you know, hammer down. He's going to judgment and everything else, but that's, you know, Yes, the judgment comes to those who are sinners who have not accepted the Lord as Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But as a God, child of God, he's not there to find fault with you because all those faults and sins in the hall have already been paid on the cross through Jesus when he died and rose again. That was his purpose. So when we look at G God as not a God of judgment, but of love and caring and his presence is with us all the time. Mighty things happen. Well, thank y'all for watching. Hope to see y'all next time. And we'll see you later on Our Treasure Home.